What's up, guys? Hey. Glad to have you back. Grateful for you following along on our journey, and our journey has taken a turn for the crazy. So, before we get there, let's back up and tell you what we got going on and where we're at. For sure. So, we have left. I took a two month leave from my full time job to work on our businesses, work on ourselves, and see and do as much as we can. And the ideal goal is to obviously see and do as much as we can. We're going to spend some time in Northern Arizona, we're going to spend some time in Utah. Um, but to really make sure that we can do this, really make sure that we enjoy it, the, the living in a bus, the building the bus out. And so we literally took a two month leave and our bus is a disaster, but we're going to build it as we go and continue to do this only more because it's all that we have. For sure. So, so let's just kind of give you an idea of what we've done since we left. So currently we are in Bryce Canyon National Park in utah in utah but you're probably wondering how the heck did you get there you were back in denver so what we did is we had planned to come and check out the southern portion of utah <coughs> and in the meantime on our drive down here we ended up getting a permit and went to this beautiful place called the hanging lake so this is located in colorado glenwood springs mm -hmm and you have to have a permit for it. So what it is, is it's basically this um, natural ecosystem that you get to go up and see the natural flow of the water that comes from the forest and pools down into this little lake. And it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, crazy. But the reason you have to have a permit is because people in the past have basically neglected to take care of that natural ecosystem. And so of course, you know, rules have to be placed. Um, so anyway, this hike, it was a 1.2 mile hike straight up and really it reminded us of some of the nastiest hikes that we've done in our time. Sure. And then after that hike, we headed on down to Utah. We stayed at this beautiful place that had a geyser. Yeah, a natural geyser that they had put a pipe in to help it because it was blowing itself out. Mm -hmm. And it was called Crystal Geyser and we literally parked 50 yards from it. Mm -hmm. And so we got to wake up to sounds of the geyser just flowing out of the pipe and the sunrise with the Colorado River right there we hit it out of the park on the first night in the bus for sure um and then after that we headed towards Capitol Reef National, National park. park and really there's not a whole lot to see and do there it's more of a scenic drive sure. um so we of course took the scenic drive um and we did go on a little bit of a hike in this place called I think it was called the Narrows. Yeah, it was the Narrows of, of uh, Capitol Reef. And it was just where the canyon walls get in real close mm -hmm. and you hike through them. It, it was really cool. For sure. A good, good place for us to stretch our legs and just kind of get a little bit of movement in first start of the day. Capitol Reef is definitely a stretch for a national park, but <laughs> it is what it is. For sure. It's part of the five, and so I hope that it gets as much attention as it deserves. Exactly. Uh, so now we are actually in Bryce Canyon National Park, which was about an hour and a half from our campsite last night, which we absolutely knocked it out of the park. Epic. We had these mountains and sunset and... We'll post a picture? Yeah. It was unbelievable. So we did that last night, but it was raining and stuff. So we got some work done. We edited some videos. We did some of that stuff because uh, we still got to keep working on the road. Mm -hmm. Then we... Woke up this morning, packed up the bus, and headed to Bryce Canyon National Park. We did a, uh, a cave. Oh, it was a it was a called mossy mossy, ca mossy moss cave, cave and, and some a waterfall. waterfall. Um, a quick little hike this morning to go check those out. Yeah, and, and ended what happened? Up, ended up running into a dear friend of mine that I have not seen in such a long time and we met on the trail and it was just it completely caught me off guard I, I never expected of all places to to see her there it was a wonderful feeling to meet up with somebody that I haven't seen in such a long time and just the vibes that were there were just amazing the coolest part was that she's actually one of our followers and so we thank you for following us it was awesome to see you out there and 
that was one of our goals for me and Tanya was to find one of our followers out in nature, out about, out and about. And so she took a picture with our bus um, and it was just a, they had a good conversation mm -hmm. and it, it was so cool. We're like we're in Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah and you know, they live back in Nebraska and we still ran into each other. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty rad. It was awesome. And then once we got to Bryce Canyon National Park, we found out that we could not take our bus into the park. Um, Too big. Yes. So they actually have a shuttle system now in place. So during that shuttle time, you cannot bring your bigger vehicles in. Yeah. Um, and it runs from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And so we ended up parking and just hit the shuttle. We ended up doing this awesome trail called the Navajo Trail that also leads you down past a place called Wall Street. Yeah. And this was recommended by our friend Adrian that we just met earlier. And so we checked it out. Super cool hike. It takes you right down into Bryce Canyon. Um, it was... With all the hoodoos. Hoodoos, yeah. They, Super incredible. To me, they look like uh, giant... Uh, chess pieces. Chess pieces all ready to be played. Yeah. So, now... We're, we're about to do something we've never done before. We're sitting in the parking lot of Bryce Canyon. We've been sitting the here since like four. Mm -hmm. We've edited some video. We've done some work on our other company. Uh, dinner. Yeah, cleaned up the bus some, cooked dinner. Dishes. Yeah, got, got a few more groceries, got some whatever, whatever. And so now we're waiting until it gets dark because we're actually going to go back into Bryce Canyon. And they say that it's one of the darkest places in the world. And so there is no light pollution and you should be able to see the Milky Way and a billion stars. So we're waiting for it to get dark. We wanted to catch you guys before it got dark, but we're gonna, I'm gonna take you out there and show you and hopefully it shows up on the GoPro. Hopefully it shows up. If not, we're going to try some pictures. We don't have actual like cameras. Yes. Um, all we have is our smartphones and we have night sight vision that we're able to apply to it. So we'll see if we can at least get a good photo if sure. we can't show with the GoPro. Um, we hope to be able to share it with you, but I think you guys will understand if we can't. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head in there shortly. It looks like the sun's going down right now. We do have to wait till 8 p.m. because that's when yep. the bus will be able to enter the park. Yep, so we'll wait till eight, head into the park, pick a spot, see the stars, and we will pick you up when we get there. All right guys, so yesterday we left off with taking you to, in Bryce Canyon to go look at the stars. And I really, we haven't had a chance to really look at the footage. I don't know how well it's gonna turn out or if it's something that we can even show you. But what we can tell you was how magnificent it was and it's something you definitely have to see for yourself. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen the Milky Way. No. And you can see the whole Milky Way and all of its glory as long as all the people shut off their flashlights and the headlamps. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be one of the darkest places yeah. in the world. And it once, turns out it's not like that when you shine your flashlight. Yeah, out. all the tourists that have flashlights, it's not very dark anymore. <laughs> but anyway, we made it through. And then um, in the dark, we tried to find ourselves to our campsite for the night. And we, we did find one. Um, However, we do not have any footage to show you because we got in super late and we left super early this morning. So there wasn't really much to show. Um, otherwise, we did get a really good view of the stars from where we were parked at. Mm -hmm. And It's just so dark here, it's, mm -hmm. it's perfect. And so, yeah, we basically slept under the stars within the National Forest last night. Yeah, and that's one thing that we actually started to learn is that when we, since we're trying to find camp spots right now, um, we have to try to get to them earlier while, while it's still light out because we're finding that if we wait till it's super dark, it's really hard to find where to park in some places. And yeah, a lot of them are off road roads. So mm -hmm. you kind of got to be paying attention. You so don't know where you're going. Like right now we're parked for tonight in the desert mm -hmm. and hopefully I'll show you some video right now it's super windy so i don't want to take the camera out there sure but no it's super super awesome we're right off the highway and ready to pull back into zion first thing tomorrow morning yeah so that brings us to this morning uh we picked up and left and headed to zion 
which when we got here, we realized that our vehicle is considered an oversized vehicle. And there is a tunnel on the east entrance where you actually have to pay if you are an RV or you know an oversized vehicle, you have to pay to Ele go through the tunnel. 11 foot, one inch or oh. seven foot, six inches wide. Mm -hmm. So we were over and so we paid a $15 ticket to they shut the tunnel down and let us go through um and then so obviously it was totally worth safe passage but yeah. it's, it's also good for two trips so basically 750 a trip um but yeah to uh protected and it's like a mile and a quarter long mm -hmm. at one point it was one of the longest br uh, tunnels in the northern north america yeah for and sure so yeah, it was cool, but yeah, we had to shut down traffic to get old Lucille through. So we yeah. got her through. Um, what else? So as soon as we entered the park, we realized that we cannot actually take our vehicle. You can't take any of your personal vehicles through the park. Um, there's not a scenic anymore. drive. Uh, this actually came about in the beginning of this year where they, stout, they now have a shuttle service. So you can hop on a shuttle from in town or at the visitor center and it will take you all the way to the stop points in Zion where then you can get off and then there's a, a shuttle that comes every 15 minutes. Yeah, so, you don't wait very long. No. And then we noticed that they were doing the same thing in Bryce. Yeah. And it was, it, it actually works pretty nice. Mm -hmm. if, if you guys go to a lot of national parks, they can be so, by noon, they can be so crowded, you don't even want to go anywhere. Right. And so it, hopefully this works out for them. Uh, we found out today they normally get 4.3 million people a year here. Yeah, so yeah, crazy. it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, our biggest recommendation would be if you decide to use the shuttle service, just make sure that you pack enough for the day. So that way, if you want to partake in hikes, you don't have to take a shuttle back to your vehicle and then get the things that you need and then get back on. Um, so just being a little bit prepared, which today we decided to just take in the park. Um, we didn't really go to some of the bigger hikes just because we wanted to try to figure everything out for ourselves and kind of see what it is that we wanted to do and accomplish while we were here. So basically we took the shuttle all the way to the very point and I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, yeah, that's it's a it. weird name. So anyway, to the furthest point, um, and that's where you can actually take a hike to get to the narrows, which you have to hike through water and you have to be very careful for if there's, you know, a chance of flash floods just because you're right in the narrowest part of the canyon and it can be pretty pretty dangerous. So we decided not to go on that hike today, um, but we did walk to the very beginning of the Narrows, and then we had a nice little picnic next to the Virgin, Virgin River. River. And then we went on, what hike was that? Upper Fall, Upper Emerald Pools. Yeah, so we took a nice little hike there. Um, it was really, there was a, a couple trails that were closed just because there was some rock closure, but um, all in all, it was a really beautiful hike. It actually reminded us of our hike to Beaver Falls when we went to have a soup a last October. Yeah, so we're kind of on the same track. We're almost in the same area. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it had the blue green water. Uh, there was some water crossings and some. So yeah, it was it was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. um, so then, basically, by that time, it was already three ish p.m. and we decided let's go find a camp spot for the night. So, so we're not pulling in it late. <laughs> so we got on our iOverlander app and we found a campsite on some BLM land. We're probably 15 minutes from the gate at Zion mm -hmm. and sleeping for free. Right. So our plan is now that we are camped and or parked and ready for to end our night here, um, our plan for tomorrow is to get up early, super early, and take you guys on an excursion with us. We've already got breakfast packed. Mm -hmm. We've already got lunch packed. Yep. We've already got our packs packed. And we are packed. And we're ready to go. We're freaking packed. <laughs> right. So, with that. Tomorrow, we adventure. We do. So stay tuned. Um, come with us on the next adventure. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to share some love in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoy following our journey, hit the subscribe button. That way you get notified every time we put a new video out. And being that we're jobless now, every subscribe does help. Subscribe so with that, help. we love you guys. Thank you for supporting us. And we're truly grateful.
on to the next adventure. Spread love.